When I was travelling in Southeast Asia, I came across uh, many cities that had incredible street art scenes. In Thailand, um, there was Phuket Island, Phuket Old Town in Phuket Island. And Con Ken. Lampang. In Malaysia, there was Georgetown. And Ipoh. In Indonesia, Yogyakarta. Solo. And many more. And then uh, after a year in Southeast Asia, I uh, spent three months traveling around Europe and uh, found pretty much the same thing there. So uh, in um, Belgrade, in Serbia, in uh, Zagreb, in Croatia. Then I came back to England and uh, I went to Scotland for a few weeks and uh, found the same in Glasgow. Glasgow's got an incredible street art scene. And uh, so I'm back in Sheffield and Sheffield seemed very familiar and uh, not very exciting until I decided to uh, kind of look at Sheffield with a tourist's eyes. And uh, I realised, and I've probably taken this for granted, that Sheffield too has an incredible street art scene. And uh, everything from, uh, you know, well-known artists like Flem and uh, Kid Acne and uh, many others, um, right down to uh, lesser-known artists. And today I'm going to do a walk around Pretty much all around uh, the Sheffield city centre, but starting just on the uh, outskirts, I'm going to take you on a tour of Sheffield street art. Let's do it. So if you do visit a city that has a good uh, street art scene, then it's always worth uh, checking Google to see if there's a street art map, um, because they're great ways of getting you around the city and uh, seeing parts of the city that you might not otherwise uh, visit. A good example of that is the Glasgow Street Art Trail, which I did and made a video of uh, early this year. I'll put a link up to that now. So I've made my way to Mayer's Book, where my trail begins. And the first one, it's a new one, by a guy called Bubba2000. It's fairly uh, explanatory as to what this one represents. Okay, the next one on the trail is literally just around the corner from uh, the NHS one and this is right in front of the entrance to Maysbrook Park and I've never seen this before so I don't know how long it's been here but yeah it's very nice yeah, so this is from the artist Phonographic and uh, we'll come across uh, a few more of us once we get into the city centre So my next stop was a shop just over there called Baked and Kate, uh, which has uh, some street art on the uh, shutters, but as they're open the uh, shutters are up, so I can't see that one. Uh, there's uh, quite a few like that on the uh, Abdel Road and London Road, which is going to be my next destination. So uh, the only way to see them is to come down at night when the shop's uh, closed. So let's keep going. Painted by Carfield School and Community Garden, which is uh, our next step, which is down here, I think. I don't know if this has been uh, painted by the school as well.
pathway friends. Right, now's a probably a good time to uh, tell you where I found the map for uh, all these uh, all this street art. Because as I say, it's not just the uh, big well-known pieces, it's also the little tiny pieces like this. And it's a website called Street Art Sheffield. I'll put the uh, link in the uh, description below. Um, but on there it's got a map uh, where it, it shows you all the places um, where you can find the street art around the city centre. And the map is very populated, so uh, the, you, you'll realise just how much uh, art there is in Sheffield. Oh wow, look at that. The uh, Street Art Sheffield website also uh, links into the What Three Words app, which, if you're unfamiliar with it, what it is um, is it's a map which uh, links directly to uh, a three-meter square uh, point. So, and it literally covers the whole world. So you could be in the middle of the desert or in the middle of the jungle, and uh, it would find you to uh, a three-meter square. Which is quite incredible. So uh, yeah, the map um, links you to the exact spot where you can find the art, which is really good because uh, when I've done it before, I've just been given the street when I've been looking for the street art, and it sometimes took quite a while to find the actual um, art. But uh, yeah, in this case, it's it's really easy to find. See a rat running across there. <laughs> Right, so this is the uh, first piece by the artist known as Flem, and um, just alongside the uh, River Sheaf, from which Sheffield takes its name. And uh, this was painted in 2015, so as you can see, it's uh, faded somewhat. So this is another one of uh, Phonographics. The guy did the uh, one at the side of the house. Let's see if I can get it in proper. So just where uh, Sheldon Road comes off Abdel Road, um, there's a couple down here as well, just behind the uh, Teller Bar and Restaurant. So these are well tucked away. You definitely won't notice these. So I'm now on uh, Abdel Road and uh, those are some of the uh, more obvious popular uh, pieces of street art, ones that people know about. I'm sure just on the back streets there are probably lots more uh, that I'm uh, going to miss. Oh, there we go. This is an example of one of the uh, shutters that's been painted, another one over there, Cole's Corner. Let's cross over and have a look at that.
down this by accident. This is on the back of the uh, antique centre in the corner of uh, Queen's Road in London now. It's nice to see uh, shops open again. Ah, these are what I was actually looking for. <laughs> New pack was. Oh, did a great job. Yeah, so this uh, the entrance to Hackles Corner was done by an artist called uh, Nicole White, who's. Uh, She's been in the papers recently. I think she uh, Walker, is it? She's just done a meal up there. So this is Hagworth Corner. So in the day, there's uh, shops in there, the guitar shop and barge shop and all kinds of things going on. And then at night, during normal times, it's, uh, it's a club. And it's a cool place. Some more street out there, but I don't know how to get to it. Any drunken night playing with that. Well, this one looks like it's been here for quite a long time because it's very faded. It's very nice though. I wonder how long it has been there. Well, I'm on South View Road now, just off London Road. And coming up is a huge one. I've never seen this one before either. It's called The Birth of Hip Hop. Oh. That's an old school. So I thought I was going to walk into a children's playground then for a minute. So this is Kid Acne. 2014, this one. And it's Kid Acne's uh, contribution to the Festival of the Mind Festival. Very cool. Well, this is an interesting place. I think this used to be an old school. It says the Sheffield African and Caribbean workshop on it now. But yeah, boys, this boys entrance there. Now I've been here a couple of times before. Uh, one time. Uh, some friends were living in it and I think they were uh, the, the council had let them live here rent free just to keep the place maintained well just to keep you know well I don't know actually um, so yeah we came to a birthday party here and then we also came here once there was a New Year's Eve party inside it with live music and DJs and stuff Ah. So this is where we came for the birthday party, so we all sat outside here and inside there are old classrooms and that's what people had turned into their bedrooms. It was very cool. It's like a little bit of Christiania in Sheffield. Uh, yeah, and on their New Year's Eve there was, it was packed, the whole building was packed, there was hundreds of people there and I came up here, stayed till about four o'clock in the morning and then left and started work, uh, walking my way back home and then bumped into someone who was on the on his way up here and uh, he asked me what it was like and I said oh it's amazing it's really cool and then he said well what, how come you're leaving then 
I didn't really have an answer for that, so I ended up going back. I think I left at about, about six, seven o'clock in the morning. Went home, went to bed, woke up about one in the afternoon, and people were putting photos up and uh, live streams of the, the uh, party still going on. Doesn't look like it's been used for anything at the minute. But none of this looks like it's been used. Back to London Road now. So I'm back on London Road. I'm just coming off London Road onto Woodhead Road because apparently there's uh, some street art around here somewhere. I think it's at the back of the post office. I didn't really time that that well because the uh, guy who lives there was just coming out of his house and I don't think he uh, appreciated me pointing the camera at his front door. Right, so that's the uh, end of the London Road, se uh, London Road, Maysbrook, Abdale Road section of the Street Art Trail. So London Road now, I'm at the bottom of London Road, it's just leading me into the uh, city centre. And uh, that's going to be the next stop, so I'm going to do the uh, city centre, down the old Castle Gate. And uh, yeah, see where it takes me. I'm not exactly sure which direction I'm going to go in, because there's tons of it in the city centre. Um, but, uh, well, we'll just keep going. Join me.